So let's say you're using Crossover and you're running Steam and you have a game here and you want to install it. This is 73 gigabytes in size. So if I press the install button, it's saying that we don't have enough space. It's only got 54 gigabytes free on the main storage drive. However, if I go to Finder and if I go to Control click on Macintosh HD and I look at this, I actually have 86 gigabytes free and 13 gigabytes as purgeable. So the issue is that uh, because of various purgeable um, snapshots, things like the uh, the time machine. If I go to my time machine again, system settings, time machine, you can see that I've got a backup configured. And basically what happens is that when you have a backup configured like this, then snapshots are stored on the drive and they are misreported as space being used up. So the way to fix this is that we are using macOS Sequoia at the moment. And uh, this is a new feature of this operating system. So we do a search for the word disk utility, and then uh, you can view Macintosh HD and then the volume section here. So this shows all of the APS volumes and all the snapshots. And this is like a new section under disk utility. And you can see here two snapshots that could be purged, right? So what you can do is uh, basically select these. They take up a lot of space. So this is using over 18, nearly 19 gigabytes of storage space. So you can select all of them. And then we're going to press the minus button here. And then that's going to permanently delete the snapshot. So just be careful because these are basically partial backups of your computer. But we're going to delete them anyway in order to reduce the amount of space that's been consumed so we can install this game. So it just takes a few moments to for this to delete. And then once that's deleted, then we should be able to click the install button. It's still misreporting this. So what I'm going to do is uh, just quit out of Steam and then uh, open this up again. So I'll just open Steam. Let's get the HUD working. So now we're going to search for the game that we want to install. Click Avowed, install. And now we have 77 gigabytes free. So um, more storage is now being reported and we can now successfully install the game if we want to. So I'm press install. So that's how you clear space on Crossover on a Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. That's what I normally say at the end of a tutorial. Okay, good.